Let me tell you a little story that I think beautifully illustrates this idea that Christ came to reveal God to our hearts so that we have the privilege of revealing God to the people around us. Um, the well-known verse in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, where the Lord Jesus says, you're the light of the world, and he warns about two dangers. One is to put the light under the bed of laziness or under the bushel of busyness. And he says, L rather than that, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. This is the whole idea of studying the Lord Jesus so that the Spirit of God can take that truth, apply it to us, and we become more like the Lord Jesus. And what did he come to do? He came to reveal the Father. And so that's our mission, to convince people how wonderful God really is, because a lot of people don't think very highly of God. I had a friend who uh, came from a very comfortable home in the south of India and felt the Lord calling him to move up to a little dusty village up in the northern part of India. And he was living among people who were generally hostile to the gospel. And when he arrived in this village, he simply began to clean out the black water sewers and uh, help the poor and a chop wood for the widows and bring water for the lame. And he, for almost a whole year, he simply ministered to the needs of people. Didn't say a word. Finally, the elders of the village gathered together with him in the market. And they said, who are you and what are you doing here? And instead of giving them a biography of himself, he gave a biography of the Lord Jesus. And he told the story how Jesus came to do these very things. Well, as a result of this, the people's hearts were opened and they began to call him Brother Jesus. Really, that's what he was. He was a brother in the family revealing what Jesus is like. We have a hostile world around us. They don't think well of God or of Jesus. And we can make friends for Jesus by manifesting his love, his grace, his truth, his character. And when people see that, like his life, glorifying his Father in heaven, we get the privilege of doing the same thing. And people make the connection. They see our good works and glorify our Father, which is in heaven. Now, once we've established that, we then have opportunities to begin to tell these people the secret of our joy, the secret of our peace, the secret of that deep well of love. It's not our love. It's the love of God shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And so when they become curious of the difference that we show them when we reflect the Lord Jesus, then of course, they're curious about knowing him too. Well, may God help us to see the practical outworking of these wonderful doctrines, that this is not simply information, this is transformation for the glory of God.